In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a table in a MySQL database. The table we'll be creating is called People, and it has three fields, ID, name, and age. Before we do that, I want to talk a little bit about variables in PHP. In the previous video, where we simply connected to MySQL, the server username and password and database name were provided as strings in the calls to the functions. I've now pulled them out as variables, partly to get us familiar with the concept of using variables in PHP. The main thing you need to remember about variables in PHP is they begin with a dollar sign. Okay, let's go on to create our table. First, uh, you should recognize the MySQL connect and select DB calls here, that they're connecting to the server and selecting a particular database to work with, namely my database. And the key addition in the script is a call to MySQL with something called a query. And a query is a string in a language called SQL, Structured Query Language. This particular query creates a table if it doesn't exist, gives it the name people, and creates these three fields, an ID, a name, and an age. I'm not going to go into any more detail about SQL at this point. So that string is passed into MySQL query, and if it's successful, namely there are no syntax errors, this call will succeed, and if there's a problem such as a syntax error, you'll end up in this die statement, which prints out uh, the message that the query failed and some useful information about the error that caused the failure. If the query succeeds, you'll come down to these final two lines where you'll get a message that indicates that the table was created successfully and then the connection is closed. Let's run this script. Let's save and create table in mydatabase.php. And now let's open a browser window and bring that PHP script up. HTTP slash slash localhost colon 81 for port 81 slash create table in mydatabase.php. Okay, return, and we see the message PHP successfully connected to my database and created a table named people. So the, uh, the SQL query to create the table succeeded. In the next video, we'll add some data to the people table in my database, and then after that, we will read that data back out to uh, demonstrate that we successfully have recorded this data in my database.